Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's Everlane try on haul. My lookbook of all the best pieces new in at Everlane this January 2021. I'm actually really excited to share this Everlane haul with you today because I love everything that's arrived. Well, almost everything, but I think you'll be able to tell from my face which item I don't feel hugely comfortable in. So I'm going to try everything on, share my thoughts and styling ideas as we go along. And once I've gone through everything, I'm going to share a second way I would wear each piece. So it's a two for one kind of video. If you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you'd like to. And don't forget to tap on all notifications on the pop-up. Also, at the end of this video, don't forget to click the link in the description box below to find me over on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit. Right, I've got so many outfit ideas to share, so let's get stuck in. First up in my winter lookbook, let's talk about cashmere. Everlane only use the finest grade A cashmere, which trust me, does make a difference. Though I know cashmere is an investment, Everlane's have truly been made to last. So new in for 2021 sees this polo neckline. Obviously being more open at the neck, it's got a very relaxed feel to it. But the very nature of cashmere, of course, is that it never fails to polish an outfit. I really wanted this cashmere polo neck to be a bit more oversized so I could wear it in more of a dress down manner more often. So in the spirit of wanting this jumper for more relaxed outfits, I've paired it with my new in sun bleached cheeky straight jeans. Now as you might have seen last week with my wearable fashion trends, baggy jeans or definitely on the looser end of the scale are really in fashion for this 2021. Now I'm not going to be binning my skinny jeans anytime soon, but I must admit I do love this particular trend. And it has to be said, they are so comfy. And this pair particularly, being in that lighter wash, I've sized up so they're even looser. I think it really captures the nature of that trend. I love all these colors. I love this pair of jeans. I am very, very happy with this outfit. So on to my next outfit, and I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below on white jeans. Are you in the love or hate camp? I rarely find anyone's an in-betweener with them. I have one pair of way too tight white jeans in my drawers upstairs, but I was curious to see if I was really missing out on the style and if they would become quite valuable in my capsule wardrobe. So I went with something that was particularly transitional. So something I could style now, but I could also utilize it as we go to spring summer. Now, as you can see in this first outfit idea, I've styled them with a big chunky knit, my ballet flats and my Yves Saint Laurent handbag. It's casual but elevated. I feel warm and toasty but not so warm that I couldn't wear this in transitional weather. In short, it's the sort of thing I would wear on a day like today when it's actually quite mild outside. Now I've gone true to size in them and though they are coming up tighter than my usual pairs of jeans, I would say this kind of style warrants them to be a bit more slim fitting. I don't think I would ever wear them with heels of any sort. I really don't like that look. I feel much more comfortable styling them with flats, ankle boots or a nice pair of trainers. Now when it comes to Everlane try on hauls, I do find it hard to resist their cashmere crew necks. As you can see, they just keep launching new colors that I fall in love with, so I can't help myself. So for this winter lookbook, I went with a tone they called Heathered Glacier, which essentially is a light gray marl. Now though I love the new baggy, loose denim, I don't think I will ever forget how much I like skinny jeans, whether they're on trend or not. Now these jeans are very much a lighter weight of denim, whereas the looser jeans are that kind of traditional weight that you would imagine. And that lighter weight with a little bit of stretch actually makes a really nice fit. They feel like they're sucking me in in all the right places, which I will never complain about. But they're definitely comfortable enough to wear all day long if you are managing to get out and about. In the UK, however, we are not able to go anywhere. So the supermarket has had to become my new catwalk. So coat-wise with this outfit, I decided to add my leather jacket just to toughen it up a little bit. I actually really like the contrast of that quite ladylike handbag against quite a tough biker chick kind of jacket. 
Next, in this Everlane try on haul, I went for the organic crew neck t shirt. Now, for me, the perfect classic white tee should never be too tight. So, I tend to always size up wherever I buy them from, unless I know they're particularly oversized. So, with that in mind, I went for this in a medium, and I would say fit wise, it's perfect. I like the fact that the sleeves are a little bit on the long side. I really like folding the sleeves back a couple of times and ironing them in place. I think that gives an overall more relaxed feel to a t shirt. As you can see, I've started it with the loose cheeky straights, my new favourite, and I've done a bit of a turn up on the hems of those jeans as is one of the trends for this season. Now depending where you live and how hot it is obviously, you could either put a jumper over your shoulders, tighten a knot at the front. The other addition I like adding to an outfit like this is an oversized blazer. So I've cut it with this one which is like a dark beige light taupe kind of tone. So super relaxed again, an everyday outfit idea that I would probably reach for an awful lot. Now I'm going to start this next outfit idea by saying I've never really been a fan of the gym. In modelling days I would go a lot but I would moan all the way there, all the way home and often the whole time I was doing the exercises. I could honestly never understand when people would say oh I've become quite addicted to it. That never happened to me. But all of that changed at the beginning of December when I started doing yoga. I'm really enjoying the process of waking up my body, learning something new, and bending my body in ways that I never even thought possible. So with this newfound love of yoga, I figured I should at least try and look the part until my body started acting it. Now first up, as you can see, I went for the dark green perform leggings and the tank top. In terms of the fabric and the fit, I do really like their leggings. They're very thick, so you don't feel like your cellulite's gonna start showing. These particular leggings have also got a pocket, so you can put your phone in there. Maybe you're not into yoga and you like running, that could be really handy as well. Now here's the debatable one, the Perform Unitard. I think I look a touch uncomfortable in that one, and I feel very uncomfortable in it. I think the Unitard is great for those people who are probably 10 steps ahead of me on the exercise or yoga or running front. Maybe in a few years time, when I'm super bendy with my yoga, if I can manage to stick with it, then yes. But as of right now, I think the tanks and the leggings suit me much better. As you can see, I have a great love of all those gorgeous camel tones. So no surprises, I went for the day glove in this beautiful tone of caramel. It's a really warm caramel tone, but not sickly at all, if you know what I mean. So these are one of Everlane's best sellers, and with good reason, because they are insanely comfy, it has to be said. You've got a really squidgy sole inside here, which makes them a bit of a dream to walk on. The front section is actually slightly higher than usual belly flats, and I actually really like that. I hate belly flats that come too short on your foot so you see half your toe. I think it just looks really weird. Once we're allowed to go out and about, I think they would look nice for the office. They're definitely smart enough. And I think as well, thinking about transitional pieces, they would equally work well with some pretty summer dresses. Heading back to the dark indigo skinny jeans, but this time styling it in a way that is pretty much what I would wear for Zoom meetings. I've been doing quite a lot throughout lockdown and I try and make an effort to look a bit smarter but also it makes you feel quite nice too. So I paired it with a striped shirt that I've tucked into the high waist of those jeans. I think this style of jeans really works best when you tuck items in, either a jumper or a blouse, whatever you might be wearing on top. It's nice to be able to see the shape of a woman's curves and I think that's what high-waisted jeans are all about, so you may as well embrace it. I wanted to get a little bit more height than my western boots, so I paired it with these ankle boots, which are just a little bit higher. To add another layer, if you needed to, I would say do the top button up on the shirt, a jumper over the top and then I like the collar coming over the top of that. Or the other alternative is to add a blazer like I have. I think the length of this one works really nicely with skinny jeans and as you can see I've just shimmied up those sleeves and let a little bit of the blouse peep out from underneath. It's quite nice to tie in that stripe on your arms as well. So a little bit smarter this time with the skinny jeans but it feels nice, it feels elevated and I feel like I've got a bit more polish. So I promised you a two for one in this lookbook and I will deliver. So here is my second way I would wear a cashmere crew neck for this winter. This time I've styled it with the loose cheeky straight jeans. I've left a turn up on the hem again with those and as you can see I've gone for a bit of a double denim look. I am a big fan of double denim and I think it can really work nicely if you get the shade right. I personally like doing it when you've got a dark denim jacket, light jeans. I've rolled the sleeves back a little as you can see because I like to have the cashmere crew neck peeping at the bottom and just coming down my hands like that. 
And then to finish, I've added my grey cashmere scarf, which also happens to be from Everlane. I got that last winter, I believe, but unfortunately I think they've sold out of them now. I will double check, and if it's there, I will add a link in the description box below. Back to the slim leg crop jeans in that lovely light tone of sand. And this time, as you can see, I've given it a much more summery vibe. Thinking of the positives here, the joy of lockdown and with your heating on, it could be any season at all in your house. So you can wear anything you've got in your wardrobe. So I've kept it really classic, but I don't think any less effective. The more simple styles are often my favorite. So I've added a tan leather belt just to really define my waistband and my leather bucket bag, which I think ties in nicely. I've got a sprinkle of gold jewelry on to help make me feel a bit more summery. And though the tone of these caramel flats isn't matching to the tan or to the trousers, I think it's complementary enough to make it work. I'd be really interested to hear everyone's different points of view on white denim jeans or light beige denim jeans as the case may be. One more outfit for luck. I've literally finished work for the day or finished filming this video. So I put these clothes on with my nice comfy slippers and I figured I should show you really what I've changed into. So this is the cashmere Henley top that I think I got Christmas time and it's had a lot of wear already. I put the loose denim jeans back on because they feel really comfy and as you can see my well-worn but super toasty slippers on my feet and I've just stuck my hair up out of the way. I always wear it down in my videos but the minute I finish filming or I finish work for the day I always stick it up out of the way. I hate to have it all in front of my face. All I've got to do now is take my makeup off and make a nice cup of tea. I really hope you've enjoyed this Everlane try on haul. I think I've got some really beautiful pieces there and hopefully it's given you some outfit ideas and inspiration as well. If you did like the video I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and like I mentioned at the beginning if you're not already subscribed that would be really lovely too. I will be back in a couple of days with more outfit ideas and fashion advice so hopefully you will join me then. Take care.